What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you the best tips and tricks for the iPhone. This video is going to cover all the tips, tricks, and hidden features you're going to need to know to use your iPhone like a complete expert. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video, the best tips and tricks for the iPhone. First tip I want to show you guys and talk about is one of the most popular changes the iPhone's had in recent years, which is the ability to add and edit widgets depending on what you want on your home screen. So as you know, widgets are these type of arrows or sections in the video where they show the weather or whatever you want shown. So you can add different apps on your widget, you can show the time, alarms, but I want to show you guys how to add widgets to your home screen. I'm sure most of you know how to do this, but this is one of the cool tips and tricks for the iPhone that I figured I would show you guys. So all you have to do is just hold down on somewhere on the screen where there's not an app. So for example, right here, you're going to hold it down and you're going to have this option with this plus sign right here to add a widget, delete a widget. So if I want to get rid of this widget, for instance, then I want to add a new one. I just click plus. It's going to give me so many different things to choose from. Anywhere from the clocks at different times, TikTok, Snapchat, Safari, my Bank of America, different tips on your phone. So if you want tips and tricks right on the front of your home screen, you can do that with this tip widget right here, but so many different things to choose from. You have your podcast. So say we want to choose my exercise. I'm just going to click that and I have the option to choose from different designs. If I want a more wider design right here, I can do that. Or if I want a shorter, more app like box, I can add that right here and we'll click add widget. So now that's going to be right here and we can move it depending on where we want it in the screen. As you can see, I have an app widget right here, which are my most used and frequently used apps. And then say I want to create another one. We want to add the clock right here. We have tons of different designs for this one, but you can choose this, add a widget, and now I have multiple widgets on my home screen that you guys can choose from. So this isn't a pretty easy tip and trick to utilize, but I like the widget feature on the iPhone. I like showing them. So if you guys want to add those and you feel the same way, you can do this on the iPhone. Next feature I'm going to show you guys, I think it's super cool, and I also think it's not talked about nearly enough. For the past few updates on the iPhone in the previous years, they actually created a way for you to measure any object on your iPhone using your camera. There's actually a measuring app for it. I already have a typed in right here, but if you type into your search bar, measure, it'll come up. You can also find it by just scrolling. But basically what this allows you to do is you can put any object in your iPhone's camera view and you can set certain points of where it starts and where it ends the object and you can measure how long it's going to be. And it's very accurate. I'm, I used a ruler to confirm this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how this works. I'm going to grab a random object in my house and I'm going to measure it for you guys using this measuring app. Show you guys how the measuring app is used. I'm going to start off by measuring this pen right here I just found in my house. I'm going to put it down right in front of my camera right here and we are going to start measuring. So it's very easy to do. What you want to do is just find the starting point for the pen right here, which is going to be the tip. You're going to pl click this plus button then you're going to move down to measure the full length of it so with any object you have to find a starting point and then you just measure it to the end point it is a super easy process but for this video i'm going to show you guys how to do that so we're going to find the starting point of the pen which is going to be the tip we're going to try and make it accurate as possible and now we have the beginning and now we're just going to move down to measure the pen and as you can see as we're moving down it is going to measure the length of it and boom we have about a five and a half inch pen right here, and it is a very accurate. If you get your ruler, I'm gonna, sh I'm sure you guys are gonna see that it is very accurate, and it actually is the exact length of that pen. But you can do this with any object. I just showed you guys the pen for the video's sake, but you can use larger objects, smaller objects, whatever you need to measure. You have a handy iPhone right at your disposal to measure that object. Super easy to use. I definitely recommend you guys checking that out. Another amazing feature I want to show you guys is the ability to actually use the Apple logo in the back of your phone to command and activate different tasks on your iPhone. So I'm sure most of you all thought that you only can command and choose different things with your iPhone by just using the screen right here. Obviously, you wouldn't ever think to use the Apple logo in the back, but I recently found out that you actually can use this Apple logo in the back to activate different settings or commands, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. The first thing you want to do and you're going to want to go to settings right here and then you're going to want to scroll down all the way till you see accessibility. So accessibility is one of those setting tabs where you have tons of different features you can play around with. And if you guys want to learn about a lot of hidden features, I recommend going to your accessibility tab in your settings. You're going to find a, a lot of different things you can maneuver and change in this section to customize your iPhone in any way you want. But for this video's purpose, I'm going to show you guys 
the specific back tap setting, which is super cool. And to get there, once you go on accessibility, you're going to want to go on touch right here under the physical and motor section. So we're going to click on that and we're going to scroll all the way down to back tap. But as you can see, there's a lot of different things you can choose from touch. So I definitely recommend checking that out. But for the video's purpose, we're going to go to back tap right here and you're going to have the option between double tap and triple tap. I have double tap on set to home right now, but for the video's purpose, I'm going to change it to, let's see, we're going to do screenshot. So basically what's going to happen is when I click or double tap my Apple logo in the back, it's going to take a screenshot of whatever I'm on on my iPhone. So this is set up right now and I'm going to double tap the back like this and it takes a screenshot. So I think this is really cool. It's an amazing hidden feature I didn't know about. And you guys can have it customized for almost anything. So as you can see for the double tap, I have, you have anywhere from app switcher, camera controls under flashlight, all of these. Then you can even go down to accessibility tabs, scroll up, scroll down, tons of different things you can choose from this double tap in the back. We also have a triple tap if that's your preference. So if you want to do three taps instead of two, you can do that as well. I prefer the double tap, but it's completely your call. It's a cool feature on the iPhone and you guys definitely have to check it out. For all you Harry Potter fans, I'm gonna show you actually how to use a spell on your iPhone. So that might sound confusing when I first say it, but if you've seen the movies Harry Potter, you're gonna know the spell Lumos, which allows you to light up your wand in any scenario. So on the iPhone, if you tell Siri Lumos, it's actually going to light up your phone by turning on the flashlight. I found out about this recently and I didn't believe it, but when I tried it, it actually worked. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it right now. It is actually incredible and it is a love letter to all you Harry Potter fans out there. So to cast a spell, the first thing you wanna do is just make sure your Hey Siri is turned on in settings. So what we wanna do is just go to settings right here and just scroll down to Siri and search right here. And you're gonna to wanna to listen to, see, turn on listen for Hey Siri, which is right here. I already have mine on, but once that is turned on, it is all set and you are ready to cast your Lumo spell. So. I'm going to say Lumos into the phone and you guys are going to watch what happens. Hey Siri. Uh -huh. Lumos. Okay. I turned flashlight on. And then as I turn my phone around, you're going to see the flashlight is on and you can see it better when it's dark, obviously. And that's what the spell is made for in Harry Potter. But as you can see, the spell actually works and my flashlight turns on when I say, Hey Siri, turn on Lumos. So this is an incredible feature. I'm, amazed that it can do this, that I even knew how to process this cool feature on the iPhone, but I think it's super cool and I hope they make more similar spells by contacting Hey Siri on the iPhone. Today I'm going to be introducing you guys the Elgear 3-in-1 Lightning Charging Dock. This portable charger allows you to charge your iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods all at the same time without the hassle of any wires. As you can see, this product looks like it has an incredible design to it, so let's unbox it and check it out. Once this charger is all set up, all you need to do is just plug it in with this wire, and I promise you that's the only wire you're gonna need for this three-in-one magnetic charger. And now, like I said before, your AirPods are gonna go right here, your iPhone's gonna go right here, and your Apple Watch is gonna go right here. But keep in mind, say you don't have an extra pair of AirPods, you can always put extra iPhone right here instead of those in case you're laying in bed with your husband or your wife, and you put an extra phone down to charge it. So say you don't have the AirPods, you can always do that. But let's start charging these products. We'll start with the iPhone first. We have the MagSafe technology built in right here. And all I'm gonna do is just place the iPhone right here and it is charging automatically it's going to charge your phone super fast and efficiently and it is a perfect stick as you can see and next is the airpods like i said they go in the circular area right here and they're going to start charging very fast as well but also like i said if you don't have airpods you can just put another phone right here and it'll work as a charger as well and now i think my favorite part about this charger is the apple watch you have this cool little stand right here all you have to do is just place your apple watch and is going to start charging. So now, boom, I have all three products charging on this three-in-one lightning charger. As you can see, it is an incredible design for all three products like this. Perfect sticks all around. And also, say for some reason you don't want the black design, no big deal. We have a white design right here. Same back structure, just different colors. So it's up to you what choice of color you want, black or white. You can both get these on algear.com. I'll show you guys the link later on in this video. But I want to just move this aside for a second and show you guys this in more detail. So as you can see, we have all these incredible products charging. And when you, you don't need wires with this. Wires are hassle; so they can get tangled. They're a nuisance. Sometimes they don't reach far enough. So that's why this charger is a win-win-win scenario with all three products. 
Nowadays, a good charger is defined by the ability to have magnetic technologies where you can charge them without using a wire and ones that charge super fast. And you get both of these with the Elgate 3 in one charging lightning stand. And that's why it's an incredible purchase. Like I said, my, one of my favorite parts about this is the incredible design. Elgate always creates very slick products that I always love the design for. They're, they're very aesthetic. And I also love both colors of the black and white. So you guys definitely have to check out these products, but say for some reason you do not have an Apple Watch like this right here. It is no big deal. We actually have, or Elgear actually has a two-in-one lightning charging stand right here. And it has the it has no part for the Apple Watch, but that's okay if you don't have one. But as you can see, we have an area for the phone right here and an area for the AirPods right here. So like the three-in-one, the two-in-one actually charges super fast as well. It's magnetic. So as a demonstration, you just put this right here. You're going to need the wire to plug it in. But besides that, there's no other wires needed. You just put the iPhone right here, and it's going to start charging. Obviously, I don't have the wire attached, but if I did, these things, these babies would start charging very fast and very quickly with a super good stick. So we have all three products right here. Elgar does an incredible job with all three of these. You guys have to check these out. The link is in the description and in the screen right here. So make sure as soon as this video is over, you go to elgear.com and buy your three-in-one lightning charging stand or your two-in-one lightning charging stand. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy your Elgear. I'm not totally sure about you guys, but for me, I receive a lot of spam calls or calls from unidentified individuals on my iPhone. In this day and age, most of these calls come through our iPhones rather than our home phones like they used to, and it can get kind of annoying. And I'm gonna show you guys a hidden feature that actually prevents you from receiving these calls or receiving or allowing your phone to ring when you receive these spam calls. It's actually helped me a lot and it's actually a huge help and I definitely wanna show you guys how to do that. All you have to do is just go to your settings and you're gonna scroll down to phone right here and you click that and it's super easy. You just go down to silence unknown callers. So if you click this, it's gonna turn off all unknown callers or spam calls. So it's important for if you turn this on to save your contacts on your phone rather than just not saving them at all. Because say someone who you actually is your friend or someone you know calls you and you don't have their phone number saved as a contact, then they will call you and it will go straight to silent and you won't receive that notification because it technically is an unknown caller. So I definitely recommend turning, changing your um, these certain phone numbers to contacts on your phone so this doesn't happen. But overall, if you wanna avoid spam calls or calls from people you don't know, I definitely recommend turning this on. It is super easy way to do it, you just go on to settings, go to phone, and then just go to silence unknown callers and just turn that on. But like I said, make sure to have all your contacts saved for your friends, colleagues, family, whoever that may be, so you don't silence their calls. But I think this is a cool feature and you guys should definitely check it out. As I'm sure since you all have an iPhone, you guys obviously know that the iPhones can be a very addictive device, especially when you have apps that you're obsessed with using all the time, like social media or your favorite games, whatever it may be, Certain apps can be very addicting, but the iPhone actually has a cool feature that allows you to spend less time on your favorite apps without actually having to delete it. Because we know some of us, when we're addicted to an app, we'll delete it in, from our phone and then we'll have to go into the app store and re-put in all our information and re-download it when we want to use it again. And it's an annoying cycle process that we have to keep doing over and over again. But now with this hidden feature, you guys can actually just hide that app from your home screen so you don't see it as much. And when you don't see it as much, you're not going to be inclined or think about using it without having to delete it. I'm going to show you guys right here. Basically say you are, you spend too much time on, I don't know, Geometry Dash and you want to get rid of it and you don't want to see it on your home screen, but you don't want to delete it because then you have to go back to the app store and re-download it, which would be a whole process. So instead you can just hide the app from your home screen. I'm going to show you guys that right here. All you have to do is just hold down on the app of choice and you're going to have the option to remove app share up or edit home screen so i'm going to click remove app right here and it's going to give you this option remove geometry dash so you have the option to delete the app in total which would delete it from your phone and you'd have to go back to the app store to re-download it or you can remove from your home screen this is what i recommend because you won't be inclined to seeing it when you're scrolling on your phone and it'll be in a location where you're less inclined to use it so we're going to click remove from home screen and now when i scroll through my apps you're not going to see it anywhere to be found, but if you keep scrolling all the way to the right, 
where all your apps are gone, you're gonna go to this app library and that's where you're gonna find Geometry Dash. So if you scroll or type it in on this app library, you'll find it, but it's right here, for example, and you can just click this right here and you're gonna be able to go to the app, but if you wanna add that back to your home screen, just hold it down and you just click add to home screen. So depending on how much you're using the app, if you're spending too much time on it and you wanna move it to this app library so it's not on your home screen, you can do that. But say you don't, you wanna remove it, you just hold it down and add it back to the home screen. But this is a good way to restrict yourself from using certain apps because when you see it on your home screen, you're more likely to use it. So if it's not there, you probably won't use it as much. I think it's a good tool if you're addicted to certain apps and I definitely think it's a cool feature that you guys should check out. I'm gonna now show you guys what I personally think is one of my favorite hidden features. It's also one of the coolest hidden features and that is how to increase your volume or amplify your volume on your iPhone to the point where it actually sounds like a speaker. And this is a super cool feature. And if you actually try it out listening to music before and after this feature is done, you're going to notice an incredible difference. But I'm going to show you guys right now how to actually increase your volume to the point where it sounds like a speaker. It's going to be super loud. We're going to go to settings right here and we're going to go back to accessibility. Like I previously told you guys, a lot of cool features can be found in accessibility. A lot of these features allow you to customize your phone in so many different ways. But for this purpose of this section in the video, we're going to go down to audio and visual. So right, we're going to click audio and visual right here. And these are all the settings you have. And we have headphone accommodations turned off. I turned them off for the sake of this video, but this is the section you're going to want to turn on to get your speakers loud on your iPhone. So we're going to turn on headphone accommodations. And now we're going to have all these different settings pop up. So you're going to see balance, tone, vocal range, brightness, these different slight, moderate, and strong settings, and all these different settings right here. So basically what you're going to do is all you have to do is just right when you get your iPhone or the normal settings is having this headphone accommodations on moderate. But what you're going to want to do is turn it to strong. So this is going to allow you to play your music so much louder than it normally would when it's on moderate or slight. I'm not going to play you guys the songs to show you the difference for this video because it's going to be hard to tell since it's on camera. But I want you guys to turn this on and try out and see the difference between the two. And you guys will notice it is an incredible difference. And everyone should have this turned on, especially if they like working out with, to music or listen to music out loud on their phone without earphones. Definitely turn this on and definitely let us know in the comments if this worked for you. It's worked for me in the past and I think it's super cool. So please check that out. Sure, by now that most of you have actually updated your phone to iOS 15 since it was released a while back. But I'm sure you guys noticed that right when you updated your phone to iOS 15, the Safari tab bar was at the bottom of the screen like this. And there was mixed reviews about it. Some people like it at the bottom, some people like it at the top. But I'm actually going to show you guys how to change that depending on what you prefer. So I prefer mine at the top, but for the sake of the video, I have mine at the bottom and I'm going to show you guys how to change it back to the top, but you can do this in either option, vice versa. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Super easy to access and super easy to find. All you have to do is just go to the setting tab right here and you're going to scroll down till you see Safari. So it's a bit farther down than normal and you're going to be on Safari tab right here, and you're just going to scroll down a little more, and then you're going to see the options right here. Tab bar at the bottom and tab bar at the top. So if you want to keep it at the bottom, if you prefer that, you can gladly keep that. Or if you want to single, change it to the top like this, you just click the single tab right here, and it's going to be at the top of your phone right here. So say you have it like that, and you don't want it like that anymore, you just go back to the tab bar right there, it's going to be at the bottom. So it's really up to you what you prefer. I know it was split 50-50 in the middle of who liked it that way and who didn't. Let us know in the comments if you like it at the top or at the bottom, but it's good to know that you have the option to change it back depending on what your preference is. And I hope you guys check out this cool hidden feature. I want to take a quick break from the video to introduce you guys Rakuten, the best app to get cash back and other great deals. With Rakuten, you're going to be able to shop at stores you love and earn great rewards and other other great deals just by using this app and also with our exclusive link with Rakuten you're gonna be able to earn an additional $30 just by using it so I'm gonna show you guys how to access that link and earn your free $30 right now claim your free $30 from Rakuten using this exclusive link all you want to do is just go to Safari or any web browser you have and type in bit.ly slash get ebates bonus that is bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. Now that's in the link in the description as well of this video. 
and it's on the screen right here. So make sure to check those out to find it at the end of this video. But this link is exclusive to AppFind. So you only can get this $30 from using this link. So we made sure to get you guys the best rewards possible through this partnership. And you guys are also supporting our channel by doing this. So I want to thank you guys for that. But let's click on the link right here. It'll be in the description, like I said. And it's going to take you to this page. And it's going to say, all our invite is to get $30 once you join and spend $30. So all you have to do is just create an account on Rakuten, which is completely free, no charges or costs involved. And once you spend that $30 on Rakuten, you're going to get a free additional $30 on top of that. So it's a win-win because you're going to be able to get free $30 and you're gonna be able to get cash back while shopping at your favorite stores. So all you have to do is just put in your email and create a password and then you are good to go with this exclusive link with Rakuten. Or using our exclusive link, I wanna show you guys the Rakuten app. It is right here. It is super easy to use and navigate. It has up to 3,500 plus stores where you can earn cash back and other great rewards. So odds are that if there's 3,500 plus stores, one of these are gonna be your favorite stores to shop at. So you're losing money if you would essentially do not download this app and use our exclusive link to get that extra $30. But as you can see, there's tons of different sections to choose from. Stores are members of love. For example, we got Macy's and Walmart. At Macy's, you can earn 10% cash back other great deals in the category section so if you have a specific category you want to look into for sports and goods or health and beauty or any of these you can gladly go to do that on this category section but if we click on sports and outdoors for example we're going to see Lululemon, Athleta, Adidas, all these other stores right here where you can earn cash back we're going to click on Lululemon it's going to show you the 2% cash back right here and more information it's going to tell you when it expires it's going to show you these top coupons but this is just one of the categories of many Anything you want to shop, essentially Rakuten will have that. So you guys definitely got to download this app. You're losing out on money if you aren't using Rakuten. And think, keep in mind that you're also going to get an additional $30. So you're overall saving tons of money by using our exclusive link and using Rakuten in general. And do not miss out on this opportunity, guys. Enjoy. Another cool feature I want to show you that's new from the iOS S15 update, but you can use on most of the iPhones depending on what model you have, but it's probably good from the 10 up to the 13, all those different phones in between. But as you already know, you have this option to turn on do not disturb. You've always had that option when you're doing something you don't want to be notified on your iPhone. But now depending specifically on what you're doing, whether it's personal work, sleep, whatever that may be, you can actually click that do not disturb for that category. So these are brand new options that you previously didn't have. For example, say we want to turn on sleep. We just click that and now I'm going to shut off my phone and I'm going to turn it back on and you're going to see that we have sleep focuses on. So I'm not going to receive any notifications during this and I won't I get alerts when I get a text or whatnot. But say I want to dismiss that and turn it back on, you can do that. But this allows you to get a better night's sleep without receiving notifications or getting woken up by certain buzzers when you receive those texts or any notification. But if we go back, there's just there's more than sleep. You can turn that off. And you can also, quick note, you can depend you can turn on sleep for certain amounts of time. So say you want your sleep do not disturb on from like 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. because those are the hours you sleep. You can do that with ease just by changing that in the settings. It's very easy to find. You just click settings and you go to that right here. But back to all the other do not disturb options. You have personal, say you're doing something private in your personal life, you can turn that on and you have this work option. So you can change these all in settings to whatever your preferences are, what your times are, what you're actually doing. So it's really cool and it lets your, it lets your contacts and other people trying to notify you exactly what's going on with your life at the moment and why you shouldn't contact them or why you should contact them. And also say your friend or someone has to contact you because it's urgent and you're on do not disturb mode. If you're texting them, they'll actually have the ability to click notify anyway if it's urgent. So say something's in, bad's happening, you just click notify anyway and you'll, they'll still receive that buzz or that notification on their phone because it's urgent. But if you have these do not disturbs on, it means that they, they're busy doing something in these specific categories. But another cool feature is if you wanna click a new focus, you can add that as well. So now you can create new tabs like driving, fitness, gaming, mindfulness, reading, custom. So whatever you think takes up a good amount of time of your day or you need to stay focused for, you can gladly choose any of these to do that and turn that on on your focus mode. This is a brand new update on the iOS 15, but I think it's a cool feature that everyone should know about in case they didn't. 
and I think it's really useful if you want to stay productive on whatever you're doing. Definitely check this hidden feature out. If you guys enjoyed all the hidden features, tips, and tricks I showed you guys today, but in case you want to find more, you can always check out previous videos on our channel, or you can go to this tip section on your iPhone. Just type in tips right here, and it's going to come up, and these are going to show you some cool tips and tricks for your iPhone, your Apple Watch, anything Apple related on this tip section, and you're going to be able to find some cool features that we might have not gone over. And if you want us to talk about them, just let us know in the comments what you want us to talk about in our next hidden features video. But these are just a quick app and a quick example of other types of tips and features you guys can find on the iPhone in case we didn't go over them. And I just want to let you guys know that you have that option at your disposal whenever you want to find more tips and tricks. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. These were the best tips and tricks for the iPhone. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this. Also, feel free to let us know in the comments what your favorite part of this video was, and we'll make sure to make more videos like that. So thank you guys, and have a wonderful rest of your day.